In this how-to video, we'll walk through the integration with CrowdStrike. The EasyNAC appliance can use APIs to automatically check different types of servers and then automatically learn what devices can be trusted and also learn what devices may be out of compliance. Then using ARP enforcement, any device not meeting our policy requirements can be easily quarantined or restricted. Let's show you how this integration is done. So we'll start this demo on the EasyNAC dashboard. And from here, we can basically see there's currently three devices on this uh, little cloud network. One of them is being restricted. And there's actually two of them are Windows devices. Let's just drill down on those Windows devices for a moment. And here we can basically see the two Windows devices on the network. One of them is a Windows 10 machine. And this is its host name. Um, and this particular device is currently untrusted. And the reason it's untrusted is because we have a policy requirement that all Windows 10 devices have to be both AD joined as well as be managed by CrowdStrike. So it's going to be currently restricted. Let's have a quick look there on that Windows 10. And you can see it can't reach the internet or its default gateway or any servers on this subnet. And he would be redirected to a captive portal where he could register his device, but that shouldn't be necessary for a managed device. It should just automatically, transparently get access if it's being um, properly managed. So let's go ahead and turn on the integration with CrowdStrike so you can see this device automatically join the network. So we'll go back to the uh, management interface here, and let's go ahead and jump over to the CrowdStrike uh, dashboard. And we'll take a closer look at the devices inside this cloud environment. And here we can see there are two devices. Those same two devices are in their cloud. And this is the machine that we're working with here, the, the host name desktop. And it's basically running all the default policies and it's currently uh, seen recently. So everything looks normal. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and turn on the integration um, with the uh, EasyNAC appliance. Now to do that, we just need to set up an API. So we're gonna go down to support and resources and API clients and keys. And we'll go ahead and add a new API client. So we'll put in the EasyNAC appliance here, maybe add some notes if we wanted to. Now in terms of permissions, all that's really required is we have read permission to the hosts that are being managed by CrowdStrike. So that's all we're gonna add. And we'll go ahead and create this API. Now, what we have here is very important. This is the information we need to copy over to the appliance so that it can query the API of CrowdStrike. So what we're gonna do is we'll go ahead and copy the client ID. And then we'll go back to the management interface of the appliance and go to configuration and integration. And we'll just scroll down till we get to CrowdStrike. And I'll go ahead and click on enable integration. Now you notice here that the access URL has already been copied over. So we don't need to copy that again, but I will need to put in the client ID. And we'll also need the client secret. So let's go back to the API and we'll copy that secret. Now I'll go ahead and save the settings there. <clears throat> so the API has now been enabled. And let's just take a quick look at what we actually configured here. So scrolling down, we can see some of the policy elements that we set. So if the device is indeed running the CrowdStrike sensor or agent, you know the appliance is gonna flag it as a managed device. So your C managed device flag on those devices that are being managed by CrowdStrike. It could be Windows, could be Mac, could be Linux, whatever is supported. Now, we'll also make sure that the device is communicating with the uh, cloud server. So if it hasn't reported in more than one day, we'll flag it as a stale device. And we'll make sure the sensor, the agent of the CrowdStrike, is not more than X days old. In this case, not more than 30 days old. Otherwise, it would be flagged at sensor out of date. And we'll do some other additional policy checks, like to make sure USB device control is enabled and firewalls are turned on and things like that. So those are the policies that we had set. Now, let's go ahead and go back to the dashboard. 
And you might recall before there was a device being restricted. Let's drill down again on those Windows machines because they all have full access now. And the Windows 10 you see has indeed been assigned full access. We just take a quick look to verify that. And indeed, he's able to get um, out to the internet now just fine. And if we click on why he got assigned full access, it will show us the policy match that he had. In this case, he was flagged as a managed device because of CrowdStrike integration. And he's also flagged as AD managed because of the AD integration. And that's why he's been assigned a full access. Now, we also can drill down on this for more details as to what we learned from CrowdStrike. We can see the flag here that we got assigned um, to this device because it was being managed by CrowdStrike. But we also can drill down in here and see the technical details as to what information was pulled from that API for this particular device. And so that's basically um, how the CrowdStrike integration works. Uh, thank you for watching.